Hey guys, I'm Amanda the G. Let's talk for a minute. This isn't anything serious, it's just like another word vomit video, but I will say that normally in October I would have a whole series of like spooky themed type of stuff to present and to put out for October and it was really hard for me to do it last year because of the panorama ding dong and um, that's still going on so it's still really hard for me to do that and I just don't have a lot of like spoopy content really in my head at all for this year. So I did the skull video last week. I will be doing another thing later on that is more costume-ish related, but beyond that, um, videos are just gonna be like normal videos because I just don't, I just don't have the creativity to do that. And also something that I want to say along the whole lines of the banana hammock. I feel like I'm almost living in this alternate reality because to me that is still going on. I still wear my mask. I still socially distance. I still live by myself and do not really interact with people and if I do they are vaccinated and masked and I am about to be triple vaccinated and I just don't understand how people think that everything is like back to normal like there is a normal like there is a possibility of getting back to normal when the caseloads are so high the amount of people dying is so high there's more than one in 500 Americans have died from this and apparently that's just like okay with people and I do not understand how people have spent the past like year and a half just like living their life without doing any of these things and you're ruining it for people like me and it's very it, it's a lot this time last year I hurt my hand really bad and I spent the entire fall with a brace on so I had my Etsy shop completely shut down for like six months so I didn't get a busy season and then for some reason my dumb butt completely forgot about my busy season on Etsy and that's happening now because it usually starts in like the September to October time frame and goes through the end of the year and I just completely missed out on all of those sales and all of that crafting last year and then this year I have been like over committing myself to things that don't involve other people they just involve myself so I really could tell myself no but I don't do that very well so I've been over committing to things I've got a lot of stuff going on and then I put stuff off because I get overwhelmed and then I just shut down for a little bit and then I feel really terrible about it and long story short what that means is I just had to bust out three hats really fast to ship them out and I also do not really fully know if I have enough time to make the blanket that I've committed to making for someone's wedding which I'm really hoping that I have enough time I might actually have to take time off of work in order to finish this blanket especially if I keep getting orders because of course I'm not shutting my shop down I can't financially afford to keep doing that every year so I am just gonna let it go and we're just gonna we're gonna not sleep and um, I have been streaming over on Twitch some of you know that most of you probably don't know that. I don't know if anybody cares, but I am over on Twitch and I may have to cut my stream schedule then a little bit because five hour long streams every weekend is great and all, but also like I, I might need those five hours. In last week's video, I mentioned some of the TikToks that I'm on and I have now found myself very, very firmly planted into couch guy shaming TikTok, which may be a thing of the past by the time this video goes up because I am trying to film a little bit ahead of time, but uh, if you do not know what that very niche side of TikTok is, it all started with one video. This girl who is going to a different school than her boyfriend, I'm guessing that they were dating in high school and went to two different universities on like in different states. I don't know how far she had to travel, but she shows up with a suitcase so she had to travel somewhere. So she posts this video of her traveling to meet her boyfriend and surprising him and he doesn't know anything that's going on and she walks into that room and and homegirl is sticking to that everything is fine, but I'm gonna tell you right now, sweetheart, everything is not fine. Everybody who has seen that video has come across and been like, no, no, you y'all are not gonna be together. Like this, something is up right now. So she walks in and the guy is in this room. There are three guys in the room total, three girls in the room total before homegirl walks in. And the guy, her boyfriend, is sitting on the couch with three other girls, totally fine, whatever. He's very close to one of them, has his arm kind of behind her. He leans forward and kind of like does this thing, sticks his hand over here, takes his phone from a girl next to him who scoots away at the same time. The 
the phone has the camera app open and then he like pulls it out and tries to be like sneaky about it and then he stands up after pr being pressured kind of because she like walks over to him and he like doesn't really move and then he stands up and gives her like a straight arm hug I am on the side of TikTok that is breaking this all down that is like the older people saying honey just listen to the internet this shit ain't good yo and also like y'all are probably like 18 it wasn't gonna work out when I went to college I know of one couple one couple that was dating from high school and went to college and actually stayed together through college and now they're married but that one couple went to the same school i don't know of a single couple of high schoolers that went to different schools and stayed together and i'm sure that it's possible and it could happen and i know people who stayed together for like a couple years or something but like the chances of you meeting the person that you're actually gonna want to spend the rest of your life with when you're like 16 are very, very small. This video kind of took a meandering path. Stay fresh, cheese bags. And basically, long story short, um, there's not gonna be a lot of like fall themed stuff unless, unless I come up with some other fall themed ideas and just please be okay with that. <laughs>